Good day everyone, I'm going to do a build, report and sound demo of the Mini Muffin which is Pick Dropper's uh, Big Muff uh, to fit into a 1590A except it's going to be a little different because I haven't put it in an enclosure yet and it's taken me so long to do this video that I think it's um, I'm just going to I'm just going to do the sound demo um, and the build report as it is at the moment so it's not actually in an enclosure um, but we will still do the sound demo, it still sounds the same, it's just not inside the enclosure. Um, so this is the PCB and I showed the, P the bare PCB um, in the other video, that's obviously the bottom, uh, in the other video uh, and I've populated it and there's a few things that you need to uh, take into account when you do particularly a 1590A of this size because it's going to go over the jacks. You can see it's quite a long board. You need the low profile jacks. I'll just grab a couple of those to show you what I mean by low profile jack. I spoke about 1590A um, requirements and special hardware when you need when you do a build that requires special hardware. Um, and for this one you will need special hardware. Um, this is a low profile jack. It's enclosed as opposed to an open style jack like this one. Uh, it's a mono um, Nutric jack or Switchcraft. Uh, no, Nutric jack. Um, and that's the enclosed, um, the enclosed low profile jack. So you'll need to use those for this build. Um, otherwise you won't fit it. So inside the enclosure it will probably look like that. Something like that. Um, and then you don't have the danger. You can put them nice and close together as well. You don't have the danger of the um, uh, when you slide the guitar cables into both of those, both of the jacks that um, the hardware won't touch because you've got all these little bits and pieces that um, hang off the side. It takes up a lot more room, basically. And also, obviously, uh, the, the, well, the main reason is actually because they are low profile and the board will sit across the top. Um, uh, it'll actually go over the top of the jacks. You can't do that um, with an open style jack because they're too fat. Um, so that's, that's how you do that. Um, and also, uh, I've I've pot mounted mine, which is the wrong way to do it. Um, I was actually going to just pot mount them like that and then stick it in a 1590B and have, a, have this weird shape for the, for the pots, but um, uh, I, I will end up putting it in, in, in an enclosure, but if I do it, I'll probably just unsolder um, the pots and do it properly. So you're gonna, have to, you're gonna wanna hand wire those up, don't pot mount them like I've done. Um, but it will, again, it will still suit the purpose for what we're doing, which is gonna be a sound demo as well. Oh yeah, and you'll also need for this build, um, don't use sockets because you're going over the top of those two jacks. Um, you won't have much room once the jack's underneath it. So it's, this cap is a full, si a full size cap. Um, I used that before I actually had access to low profile um, caps. That's a full size cap. You want to use a f approximately five or six millimeter height cap, um, which is what I've got on my web store, which I call low profile. Um, so that's about the about the size. It'll be about the same size. Let's just zoom in so you can see that nice and closely. It'll be about the same size as those box caps. And as you can see, I haven't socketed the transistors as well. Um, everything on there is low. Um, even uh, th also, th those are the um, ECQ ones again on my web store. Uh, those that one, that little one there, is an ECQ. And as you can see, they're really small. Um, and <laughs> looks like I've used a greeny there and just bent it over as well. I didn't have much uh, access to low profile stuff when I actually built this. Um, so uh, yeah, it's, a, it's not quite the way um, that you do it. Uh, so we'll have a listen to it now. I'll, um, I'll, uh, I'll wire it up to my testing circuit. Uh, and I forgot to mention actually that there's about 20 different um, versions of the, of the Big Muff that you can um, build. So this is just one of the, um, one of the versions that you can build. There's a, Every version you can possibly think of on there uh, in the in the bill of materials, you just pick what values you want. You populate it that way, and then it will um, it'll sound uh, it'll sound like whichever big muff you want to build. Um, so that that's probably one of the best things about this um, this project. Um, the versatility of the of the PCB, you can build it whichever way you like. Um, I'm, can't remember exactly which way I've um, built mine. I think it's kind of like the stock, which is like the easiest one with the 2N5088s. I think I had to look into some of the other ones with the transistors. Um, there's a few options that you can do, I'm pretty sure, with the 2N5088s, um, but there's also some very 
uh, there's ones using older uh, transistors that, like in the in the really early big muffs that you can't get anymore, or they're just infinitely expensive um, because they've become rare. Um, so I didn't do one of those, but um, uh, we'll see what this one sounds like anyway. Um, and um, yeah, let's get into it. <clears throat> So that sounded pretty good in front of the amp. I hope it comes through well um, through the sound demo. Um, and um, uh, just one thing I want to mention too, uh, if you've got a fuzz or a, or a distortion or um, overdrive pedal um, and you're not uh, experienced with using pedals, um, try messing around with the, with the drive distortion fuzz uh, knob and crank it to zero right down and compensate with the volume and see how it, how it sounds. Um, sometimes you find little treasures like that um, with with these sorts of pedals, distortion, fuzz, overdrive pedals. Um, uh, like at the end of the video, the last bit that I did, um, I, in front of the amp it sounded really good. Um, it sounded a bit like an overdrive. Um, you can find things like that sometimes when you mess around with it. I'm usually of the school of just crank the hell out of it. That's 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 the that's the uh, the school that I'm from, um, but every now and then, you know, like I like to just test and see where else um, in the drive, um, uh, in the dial rotation, there's sometimes you find other um, other little little treasures. It's worthwhile just um, uh, playing around with them and see what you can find. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the sound demo uh, and the bill report. Apologies to Dave Pick Dropper for taking so damn long to do this um, this demo video. Uh, but I finally got there in the end, and um, thanks for sending me the board. It's great. If you're looking for one, you can um, find Pick Dropper on the Mad Beam forum. Um, I'll 
I'll hunt down a, a link that you can contact him through, um, but you may need to be a forum member. Um, and if you're not a forum member and you're thinking about building guitar pedals or you just started building guitar pedals, you should become a forum member because Mad Bean is an awesome forum and you should be a part of it. Trust me, you will not regret signing up. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more do it yourself guitar pedal tutorials, demos, and all sorts of stuff like that. Thanks for watching.